Guys, what is going on? See here. And in this video, I wanted to run you through the Logitech C920 uh, settings within the application. Now, the C920, the Logitech, they don't ship out any software with the device. You do need to go to their website, logitech.com forward slash support, and then download the drivers. Now, I will have that posted in the description below. So if you guys were interested in downloading it, checking it out, etc. I do think it only does work with the C920 though, or Logitech products in general. So you might need to own a Logitech webcam in order for this software to work. So let me run you through some of the settings within the app. So I'm going to open up the app and let me open up the quick capture. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? So here on the right side, let's, let me walk you through this really quickly. So the resolution, right? You can have that max up to 1080p. I usually shoot in 1080p, but for this video, I'm gonna leave it in 360p because I did wanna show you a mode, a mirror mode that only does work with 360p resolution settings with this. So we're gonna leave that in 360p for a second. This is the mute. This is the microphone setting, whichever microphone you didn't wanna use. And then you have a bunch of arrows here, excuse me. You do have a bunch of arrows here, but it only does work if you are zoomed in. So I'm gonna zoom in here for a second. And if I click right or left, now I'm able to actually go right, left, up and down, and then back to the center and then zoom out. But again, there are no moving parts within the webcam. You do need to actually zoom in in order for it. So it is a digital, it is a, sorry. It is a digital zoom that works by moving right and left when it's actually zoomed in. So it's not actually moving any pieces in there. All right, let's done with that's done with that. Webcam options. So right sound, right light. I'm not exactly sure what that what that is, but I think it does have to do something with obviously the right sound, right light. If you did have a bunch maybe a bunch of webcams set up. Again, I'm not really sure what that is. So Follow my face though, that I do know. Now, if I had that follow my face on, it would actually follow my face. It would try to center it within the app. So I'm gonna move right and left. And up, and it actually tries to zoom in and tries to get my face in the center as much as it possibly could. And then you have the autofocus mode. So if I take off autofocus and I turn it on macro, if I turn macro all the way up, you're not gonna see me, but you will be able to see things like that that is a white out bottle in case some of you guys were wondering and then if i zoom out and then try to put this back in let me let me uncheck follow my face then as you can see it will not focus into that bottle because autofocus is turned off and macro is turned all the way down but now if i did autofocus and i put this at the right angle sorry let me just try that again It would or it should focus. There we go. So that automatically did focus. Just click done. Uh, there's the mute button. And now let's take you into advanced settings. So here in advanced settings, we do have the gain levels you can mess around with. Right now it's on auto. And if you turn off right light, and you took it off auto, you would be able to play around with exposure and gain. So I'm just gonna leave that turned on and on auto. And you could play around with the brightness settings, turn on, if you're doing shooting and makeup tutorial, I know some of the YouTubers that have it literally this bright. So uh, I'm just gonna leave that back in the middle. Contrast, all the way down, all the way up, back in the middle. And then color, sorry, color intensity. So if you didn't want more saturation, with your colors, that's something there. White balance, no, it's usually set on automatic. You could play around with that. Just leave it back on auto. Anti-flicker, NTSC, PAL, normal and mirrored. So this is what I was talking about. So normally when you shoot a webcam, I know that your right is usually your left and your left is usually your right, right? That 
but in mirrored mode, which I'm using right now, which only does work in 360p. So mirrored only does work in 360p. You actually, this is my right and this is my left. So your right is my right and my left is your left, as opposed to the normal mode where it's my left is your, sorry, my right is your left and my left is your right. So sorry about that. So let me click on cancel for the settings since I don't want anything to change. Sorry, that is device info. Let me just click on cancel. Yes. Okay, now if I were to go into preferences, you do have all these folders here where you would want the things to save. This is for the updates. If you did want to check for updates, gallery, again, quick capture. This is for the microphone input level, audio recording, video recording quality. Uh, record audio with motion detection. Now this this application, this program does have a mode that you can do motion detection. So say you were out of office, you could turn on the motion detection within this application. And I'm going to show you guys instead of just speaking about it. So that's the general tab. Let me just leave. Let me get out of there. So let's go into motion detection. So if we go into main menu, I know you guys can see me there. So before I go into motion detection, I'm just going to run you through these apps here. So Gmail will just open up the Gmail uh, browser. It will open up your web browser, take you to your Gmail account. You have to log in. Skype, if you did have that installed, it would open up the application. Same goes for the li Windows Live Messenger. Webcam controller we already went through. So motion detection. So I click on motion detection. And here I have the sensitivity knob. So say... I would turn that on high and on. It would not really record unless there was huge movements, but even then, even then, it's not really recording. So in order for me to actually turn it on really sensitive, I would put the sensitivity on the lowest. And now it would record no matter what. But if you did want that a little bit higher, say there, so it wouldn't record every single small detail, but it would record something small. I'm going to stop moving for a second. I'll show you guys. So the second I move a little bit, it does start recording. Now, if you would have someone open up the door, then it would record. So I would leave that motion. I would leave the motion sensitivity on, uh, on one of the lower settings so that it would record. Now, if I turn it up high, it would stop. And it saves the file into the bottom there. I don't know if you guys can see. But it does save the, so you could have a bunch of files that will save. Mm -hmm. And another really cool thing about this is it gets really in depth. You could edit the schedule here. You have a schedule that you could enable right there. There's your button. And you could tell this application, this program, when you actually want the webcam to start recording motion. So if you were, let's say, out of the office every day from, let's say, 12 to 1 o'clock uh, p.m., you could actually click on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever you were out of the office, right? Let's just click on Tuesday for now. And you would set the time from when to when it would start recording. And automatically, this app would start recording from that particular time. And then you would click save and then it would, you know, it would do what it, would, what it is meant to do, motion detection. So I think I did cover everything. There's your all your content. I think I covered everything with this uh, application, this program. Uh, I hope you guys did find this video helpful. Um, again, I am using the C920 webcam. I will, uh, if you didn't already see my review, I will post a, uh, just click on the thumbnail up there and you could see the review of this webcam. It's a really awesome webcam, awesome piece of software with the webcam, Logitech. And again, I will provide a link in the description. Anyways, sorry. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't already subscribe and you want to see more of this content, then click on that subscribe button. All right, guys, until next time, take care and I'll catch you on the flip side.